Hey there, this video is going to be for learners of Latvian, but I will start with a story. Remember how when I taught about verbs, I was talking about how I cannot find keys. The story is also going to be about keys. Okay, let me change the screen a little bit. There you go. Here you have keys. What was the word in Latvian? for keys. It's atslagas. Now, let's imagine a situation where you have just bought a new home and you want to show this home to your partner and you want to present them keys, but you have dropped them somewhere. You are looking for them and you cannot find them. But then there comes your partner with an observation. Your partner says, Atslagas ir lapam virsu. What is your partner saying? Or maybe your partner says, Lapam virsu ir atslagas. What are they saying? Of course, the visual helps you to understand. This sentence means the keys are on the top of leaves. And this sentence says the exact same thing. The keys are on the top of leaves. But now look at this. Probably if the keys were on the top of leaves, you would have noticed them too. But maybe they were not on the top of the leaves. So your partner says this. Lapas ir virsu atslagam. But maybe your partner says this. Atslagam virsu ir lapas. Confusing. I know, at this time, visuals help. But if you only heard those sentences, what would help you to understand them? Did you notice how endings changed? Understanding the endings of words can be key to understand what directions are being given to you. I have a course, Latin for English Speakers, where I explain all the endings and also these little words, such as virsu this time. But I know that it is difficult to learn from a course when there's nobody who guides you through it all and who speaks with you so that you can learn to listen various kinds of sentences. That's why my son Phillips has come to help. In fact, his client... Michelis asked Phillips to work on teaching him directions and locations. I will show just a few fragments from their work. How do you say T-E-I-K-T -E compared to T-I-K-T? Taked. Taked. And then ticked. Tick, ick, Okay, yeah. That's, that was the key I was missing. I was going to ask you, what were uh, what were the things from last uh, from our last meeting that helped you out the most or stood out the most to you? Just the exercise of looking at the map and discussing how do you get it from here to there? Because in addition to hearing your voice and hearing the pronunciation, for me it's also a question of where I hear the word and I almost have to picture it written out to comprehend it because I'm not sure of the, um, the distinction in the dialect. Like, yeah. for instance, I'm still asking it happened on take versus T. Yeah, because yeah. they hear it every day. Yeah. Me, I'm sitting here like, I know there's a difference, but I don't know what it is. But when I start looking at it, I'm like, okay, so I have to get from here on the map to there on the map. What am I looking at? Well, by crazy, TV, Crystal Yamas. On, um, I understand what you're getting at. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like uh, T and on T. I mean, you know, it's like I, I can tell you some basic ideas. I'm not sure if I would, if I heard that in conversation, if I would comprehend it fast enough to even. Again, we talked about last time. If I run into somebody on the street, uh, you know, courier, lead us, lead machine, not lead machine, as well. You had it, Lidost. Lidost. Okay, so so Courier Lidost. Uh, ah. That's great. I can you'll you'll understand. I'm looking for the airport, right? Yes. Okay. 
That's great. So now you, I, I've communicated successfully, maybe not grammatically correct, but I've communicated successfully. You understand, and now you answer. <laughs> this is where I am like, okay, that's great. I asked you, you're telling me, what if I don't understand what you're telling me? I'm wasting your time and mine. I understand. <laughs> the correct way to have written the sentence out would have been, a talak pa, P A, a talak pa, stats. Pastatius ELU with the U at the end because it would uh, switch to an accusative, which is actually, and we're going to be still working on the genitives or I mean the datives today. And we're also going to kind of introduce these accusatives. And I have, we're really just going to do repetition of, I'm going to say, okay, how do you say the word? Like we're going to be looking at the map. I'm going to say, how do you say the word for this building? And then you'll say it. And then I'll ask you, what do you see? And you'll say, like, I see the building. And in, in that case, it will be accusative. So the ending will change. And then I'll say, for example, what is next to that building? And then it would change to a dative. So in that way, when you're hearing, you know, other people speak and uh, they're giving you these different endings and stuff, you should be able to pick up like if you're going there or if it's next to it, like the endings. It's really all about repetition. That's what we're going to do today. I was uh, also going to ask you, have you been keeping up on your vocab? The other words that we I gave gave you in the. Yeah, I've been working on that. And I'm, I'm all over the place with vocabulary. Well, that's awesome because I actually have um, I have some pictures to show you, some Latvian pictures of Riga and uh, we're. We're going to do some more vocab later on today. Okay. But uh, what we are going to do now is if you could pull out your map. Yep. Go back to the map and we'll go back to location number uh, one. You see where that number one is? Yes. Okay. Cool. Experimental premium kvartals. Yeah. Very much. You, you got it. Like, Almost right, actually. Experimentaloa priva ayu kvartas. But okay, let's say you're you're looking across the street, okay, and you're at at uh, experiment house one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gotcha. <laughs> you're you're at house one, and you're looking across the street, and yeah, in Latvian, how. What is that word? What is that store across the street from you? Pari Ila Experimental Proibius Cabaltos. You don't have to say anything. Literally, vehicles is a store. I don't know what kind. Yeah. Saldum vehicles. That's all I want. That's all you got. We're just going to. Saldum vehicles. Yes. Saldum vehicles. But it's not a bakery. It's like it's got candy and stuff in it too. So it's just for sweet. It's a confectionery store. Okay, I I, see, I don't even know that English word. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a, it's an older word. Uh, you don't hear it used very much, but it describes a store where they have all kinds of sweets. Yes, so and yeah, we, we, not you know a bakery store you don't generally find candy. Exactly, a bakery store you might find all of that. Exactly, yeah. So that's what that is. Saldum vehicles, and that's the nominative case. So okay. if you are to say though that I am looking at that store, it would be S Redzu Saldumu Vekalu. Saldumu Saldumu Vekalu. Vekalu. I'm looking at that store. Yes. And that's the accusative ending right there. The 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 uh, Saldumu Vekalu is the general description of a confectionery store. Saldumu Vekalu is that one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you'll find it sometimes for me to understand that I have to say it my own way to seem to. No, that's perfect. Yeah. You know. the, 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 we need those light bulbs coming on, switching on. Exactly. I would like you to say, I see the sugar store, the confetti, the confet. What is it? Confectionery. Confectionery. Yes, it's Rezu Saldomu Vekulu. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Next, I want you to say, Next to the sweet store is uh, the chocolate factory. And so this is how you're going to say it. Blakus 
So you hear the word blockus, you know we're going to use the dative ending, which is what we were using last time. So it'd be blockus saudomu veikalam ir chocolates fabrica. So chocolates fabrica stays in the nominative and saudomu veikos, that changed to a dative because we have that word blockus indicating next to it. Next to blockus next to it. Yes. Blockus saldomu veikalam ir um, chocolates uh, fabrica. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. If you'd like to learn more about this opportunity to learn with Philips, click the link around this video.